For more than 100 years, Shamit Corporation has manufactured materials for car parts and performance wear. But the factory in West Bridgewater is shifting gears, working to supply hospital gowns to healthcare workers across the country. We're producing both the fabrics to help other people make the gowns, uh, because the fabrics are in extreme short supply, but also have, as you said, are now producing gowns as well to supply to hospitals. The goal is to distribute as many as 2.5 million per week. James Weiner is the company's current CEO. We're working 24 hours, seven days a week is a team to repurpose and, and refit equipment we have across five plants to get that production level up to the eight or 10 million gallons per month demand uh, that's coming at us. I think all our people are extremely anxious and motivated to participate and be part of the solution. This isn't the first time Shamit Corporation has stepped up during a national crisis. This third generation Massachusetts family business has a history of service beginning with World War I and continuing in World War II when the company produced field jackets, blankets and parachutes for the U.S. military. And I have a vivid recollection, recollection uh, that when I was working there one summer in 1942 from high school, I used to come home at night, I lived at home, and my mother would look at my blistered hands from tying the shroud lines of the parachute onto the knuckle that connected to the bomb and say to my father, what are you doing to our son? 94-year-old chairman Justin Weiner remembers it all. What do you say to young people who are worried that this is never gonna end? It gives me a lot of faith that this we're going to see the other side and we're going to come out and we're going to be stronger for it.